We have uh, Donald Trump, who's a member of the 1%, and we have Hillary Clinton, who is a servant of the 1%. So where do we find a voice for the rest of us, for the 99%, if you will, for working class people, for poor people? The Democratic Party has turned away from those principles quite some time ago. So there is an opportunity now to build something different, to give people a voice, to give people a democratic uh, participatory uh, possibility. The Stein Baraka well, ticket will be on the ballot in 45 states, including Washington, D.C., and mm -hmm. you all will be official write-in candidates in three more states. Still, Libertarian candidate Gary Johnson and Jill Stein, they will not be a part of the first presidential debates at Hofstra University next week. I'm sure that's disappointing for you all. We have this um, uh, commission on uh, presidential debates, which is a, uh, uh, a creation by the two uh, monopoly parties. Uh, to determine uh, who can uh, be uh, uh, exposed to the American people. So it is, uh, it is disappointing, but uh, we're going to continue to take our message directly to, to the American people. We don't believe that some of the promises, uh, specifically from the Democratic Party, for example, are really um, going to be carried out. We remember the kind of hope and change uh, uh, messaging from the Obama administration, and we saw what we got, which was very little uh, hope and um, almost no change. Uh, so we don't believe that we are going to see any kind of real uh, advancement with a Democrat or, of course, with a Republican. That's why it's important for us to, to offer an alternative. I understand that Jill Stein told CNN that she plans to show up at the event with her supporters. Is mm -hmm. that true? Uh, the, the, our supporters are demanding that we, we be there to have a, a physical presence, to, uh, to register our opposition, and we will be there in New York.